Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Piranha 3D. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in an arid desert. The hot climate and the sand stretches for miles, and in the middle sits a lake. A fisherman spends his time in the middle of the lake catching fish and drinking beer. Suddenly, something pulls on his line and startles his fishy ass. He drops his beer on the ocean, and he pulls his fishing rod up and catches a fish. Unbeknownst to him, an earthquake opens up the floor of the lake, causing a whirlpool to appear right where he is. He quickly tries to power his Tesla boat to escape, but the current is too strong. The current tips over his Tesla boat, and he falls into the middle of the whirlpool. The piranhas swarm around his body and start to bite him and his fishy part, eventually ending his fishing life in the process. In the next scene, spring break arrives and many people, mostly students, come out to Lake Victoria to enjoy their vacation. The people crowd along the lake as they party, and many also ride their speedboats far into the lake. Many students rush out into the town, which causes some disorder. Officer Julie is dispatched and takes care of many of the students causing trouble for others. She apprehends a young man who drove over a parking meter. He tries to resist arrest with his bare muscles, but Officer Julie subdues him with a taser while telling his shitty friends to back off. A college student named Jake arrives in Lake Victoria, where he meets an old friend called Kelly. She tells Jake all about the chaos that is erupting because of the spring break. Jake tells her that he is only here to pick up his sister. Kelly's boyfriend arrives and picks her up, but before they leave, he throws his drink at Jake and speeds off. Jake's sister meets up with a model called Danny. She stresses to Danny about how long she has been waiting for her brother to arrive. Jake arrives in a bad mood because of the drink thrown at him earlier. Danny compliments Jake's shirt despite his mood. Danny's boss comes and orders a camera crew to get specific items needed for their shoot. He looks at Jake and asks if he wants a job showing them around town for good spots to shoot on. The boss suddenly gets a call, and he remarks that he wants the biggest boat the town can provide for his shoot. He convinces Jake to take the job and leaves with Danny. Officer Julie turns out to be Jake's mom. She talks to Jake and tells him that despite his plans for tomorrow, he should still fulfill his responsibility of taking care of his siblings while she is busy at work. Jake puts her mind at ease and tells his mother that he will still be taking care of his siblings despite his busy schedule for tomorrow. In the evening, the deputy and Julie drive out to the lake where the fishermen from earlier went missing. They reach the dock, and the deputy tells Julie that the local government would be sending in a team of divers in order to investigate the seismic activity at the bottom of the lake. They both spot the fisherman's boat near the end of the dock, and Julie tries to reach it, but falls into the lake. She screams out loud as the rotten body of the fisherman resurfaces near her. They both drag the body to land, and the deputy tells Julie that the body has been in the water for weeks. Julie suggests that they close down the lake until they get back an autopsy report. But the deputy says that they cannot close the lake because it is a big financial week for the town and it would be easier to drain the lake than to close it. The next day, a man dives from the top of the cliff into the lake and gets killed by piranhas. Jake and his siblings hang out together on their dock. Jake pleads to his annoying siblings to let him leave them alone so that he can spend his day in the lake. Jake's sister tells him to give them money and they will let him leave. He gives them the money and tells them not to open the door for anyone and lock the doors until he gets back home later. The deputy and Julie warn many of the children not to litter in the lake. The divers sent by the local government arrive at the scene and they are greeted by the deputy and Julie. They tell them the location of the seismic activity and ask the two of them to take them there. Jake joins a crowd that has gathered to see Danny and another model being filmed while they are partying on top of a boat. The crowd erupts into cheers, and while Jake navigates through the crowd, he bumps into Kelly. Kelly asks him why he is here and not taking care of his siblings. Jake pauses for a bit, but suddenly the boss calls for him to come up to the boat. The boss comes up to Jake and asks Kelly if she wants to join the shoot with them. She accepts the offer despite the protest from Jake. Kelly's boyfriend sees Jake and he shoots him a smug look rather than his hormones. Jake's little brother convinces his sister to go on a boat ride with him to see if he could get any fish. She gets mad at this, but accompanies him anyway. She remarks that when she becomes a rock star, she won't let his brother become a groupie. Later, Jake and the others aboard the boat head out into the middle of the lake. They dock the boat in the spot where Jake tells them to. Danny and the other model dive straight into the water, while Kelly uses a flowy and keeps her distance from them. The models dance around in the water, while Jake and the boss observe the filming. Julie calls her son in the middle of the shoot and asks where he is. He tells her he is at home, but she remarks that no one picked up the home phone. He lies and says that he went out for a bit but is now back at home with his siblings. 
Suddenly, the boss and the cameraman start screaming at the models while filming, and Julie asks her son if someone is with him. Jake ends the call and sees that Kelly is no longer in her flowy. He takes off his shirt and dives into the water to search for Kelly. He calls out her name, and she calls back to him and tells him to get back on the boat because the filming has already ended. Meanwhile, the two siblings rowed their boat into a small island in the lake, but the little brother failed to tie their boat properly. The boat ended up drifting away, and they are now stuck on the island. The little sister complains about the brother's idiotic plan to catch fish. They see a speed boat in the distance and call out to it. The little sister comes closer to the water to ask for help. However, she wounds her foot on one of the sharp rocks, which attracts the attention of a piranha. But she manages to leave the shoreline before the piranha gets to her. Julie and the seismologist dock at the spot of the seismic activity. She asks about the map that one of the seismologists have, and he says that it is a map of a cavern system beneath the lake, which opened up because of an earthquake. Now the two lakes are connected to one another because of the cracks that appeared afterward. Two divers go down the lake to explore the newly opened up cracks. The two of them enter the large crack, and they observe that it is at least 200 feet tall. They head deeper into the passage, but they start losing connection with Julie and the leader of the seismologists. The divers enter the cave that opened up and see a large cavern full of yellow plants. It turns out, the yellow plants are egg sacs that belong to piranhas. One of the divers picks up one of the eggs, but gets bitten by a piranha and dies. The other diver sees this and hurriedly swims back up, but is also killed in the process. The leader of the seismologists heads down to see what is happening. He is attacked by the piranha also, but manages to go back to the boat, and he drags along the body of the other diver and a piranha. Meanwhile, the boss tries to convince Kelly to join one of their shoots. She refuses at first, but the boss insists, and Jake steps in and tells him that she already said no. She expresses her sudden anger at Jake and accepts the offer to join their shoot. Danny convinces the boss to let Jake join the shoot too. When the two are about to kiss for the shoot, Kelly suddenly pushes Jake away and vomits out the tequila she drank earlier. Julie and the leader of the seismologists enter the home of an expert on marine biology. They show him the piranha from earlier and ask what it is doing in the lake, revealing that two people have died because of them. The expert reveals to them that the piranha they have brought in is actually a prehistoric species, which vanished off the face of the earth many millennia ago. He brings out a fossil and shows them. He also tells them that they must have managed to survive all these years through cannibalism. The leader of the seismologist tells the expert that the earthquakes opened up a passageway, which leads into the home of the piranhas, and that there are thousands of them inside. Jake is tasked to film the surrounding scenario, while the boss and the rest of the crew party on the boat. Jake sees his little brother and sister waving for help on the island. The boss gets angry at Jake for missing a good shot, but Jake tries to convince him that his siblings need help. The boss does not relent, but when Jake tells him that his mother is an officer, he relents and lets Jake have his way. The party in the lake begins to get chaotic and loud. The DJ tells everyone to start getting rowdy, and the crowd erupts. Julie and the deputy start shutting down the party, but due to the loud noise, the deputy uses his gun to get the crowd's attention. The deputy asks everyone to get out of the water, but the DJ starts the music once more, and the crowd starts jumping into the water. The boat arrives at the island, where Jake's siblings are stranded. Jake tells them to get on the boat so that they can all go home. The boss gets mad at the slow pace of the siblings and rushes them on board the boat. Jake tells Kelly to watch his siblings and tells her to keep them away from the boss. The boat's propeller gets stuck in something, and the boss gets mad at Jake and blames everything on him. He accuses Jake of planning a mutiny on him and tells Jake to go down the water and fix the propeller himself while he steers the boat. Julie and the deputy try to get everyone out of the water, but the people will not listen. The piranhas start their fast and furious attack, and many people fall victim to them. The people start panicking and quickly swim their way to shore. Julie and the leader of the seismologists help as many people as they can, but the boats become overcrowded and many people die. The boss tries to get the propeller unstuck and manages to do it, but he crashes the boat into a rock, which knocks over the boat. The boss and the other model get killed quickly when they are knocked overboard. Jake opens the skylight and reaches out to Kelly. The deputy and the other officers try to get as many people off the water as possible. The deputy grabs the propeller of a boat and kills as many piranhas as possible and buys enough time for a lot of people. But the piranhas chew off his legs and he slowly sinks, who's still too heavy to surface the water despite losing his legs. Officer Julie arrives to save her son and others. She says she will take Danny and her kids to safety, but Jake offers to stay behind and try to figure out a way to save Kelly. Danny crosses the tight rope onto another boat, but she is attacked by piranhas and killed. Julie and her kids get across to the other boat. 
Jake uses the body of the boss as bait to distract the piranhas. He dives down and tries to get Kelly from under the boat. Jake uses the rope attached to the other boat to drag both of them to safety. The movie ends with the biologist telling Officer Julie that the piranhas they fought are merely the babies and that there are bigger piranhas out in the lake. The leader of the seismologists asks where the larger ones are, but gets attacked by one and gets thrown off the boat. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.